Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. Everyone give yourself a round of applause. You guys are the best. Actually, you're not the best yet. You need to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, then you'll be the best, and then round of applause for yourself. We're finally answering the question that I have talked about a lot on my channel, and I'm really excited to tell you guys all about this. If you guys have been watching my channel over the past year, you've probably heard me mention on numerous occasions this mysterious business that I've been working on outside of YouTube, and this business that I wanna tell you about but haven't been able to tell you about yet. And I've been dropping a lot of hints at it. It is finally time for me to fill you in on what I've been spending the past Geez, I guess it's been over a year now. Now, if I'm gonna explain this properly, we're going to need to go all the way back to November of 2017 when I went to my first ever sneaker con. Here I am, look how young and happy and naive I look at SneakerCon New York City at the Javits Convention Center. This is an amazing day. This was such a fun day to be able to meet all of these YouTubers that I looked up to and had met online and almost became friends with before actually ever meeting them in real life. And this was a huge pivotal turning point in both my YouTube career and just my outside of YouTube career, which I think is going to end up being a lot bigger than my YouTube career ever will be. Beating all these YouTubers and all these brands and just seeing how big of an industry social media really was, this is the first exposure that I ever had to it back in 2017. And it was really eye-opening. I realized, oh shoot, there are people not just making a living off of YouTube, which I was doing at the time, but there are people making a killing off of YouTube. There are people setting themselves up for life off of a good five year run on YouTube. And that made me realize that I needed to get my acting gear and start doing the same thing for myself. What that meant is I started setting up more sponsorships. I started reaching out to brands and I started making sure that I was selling merch at events that I went to and making every single possible revenue stream I could think of available to myself. Affiliate marketing, appearance fees, anything you could think of, I wanted to make myself available so that while I had this opportunity on YouTube, I could make as much money as possible so I could set up my future. Now, as I'm sure you know, YouTube is not the most stable income ever. Your views can go way up and then they can go way down and then they go up and they go down and they go up and they go down. And I've seen that happen many times throughout my YouTube channel. I mean, right now the views are a little bit down and a few months ago they were a little bit up and I'm sure a few months from now it will look completely different than it does now. So what that means is it's super important to make sure that you're earning as much and saving as much as you can while you're making money on YouTube. Herein lies the problem and actually where the business started to get started. I would have conversations with different YouTubers and different social media creators who, when we talked about our life goals, their biggest goals were, I wanna hit this many subscribers, or I wanna get this many views per video. And those are amazing goals, especially if you're a really creatively oriented person. But I started realizing that those just weren't my goals. When I thought about my YouTube, obviously I wanted to do a good job and make good videos. But in terms of life goals, I wanted to start a business. I wanted to be able to sell a business. I wanted to have employees. I wanted to create products and services for people that really improved people's lives and changed the way that they did business. And that's when I started realizing that I almost enjoyed the behind the scenes of YouTube more than I did the creating. And that's saying something because I really love the creative process of making YouTube videos. And at around the same time, I'd say probably early 2019, I started realizing that many of my friends who did social media as a living weren't equipped with the business acumen to the same extent that they were equipped with a creative acumen. I mean, they were extremely creative people that maybe had a slightly below average understanding of how to run their business. Whereas me, I'd say I'm an average creative person, but have a very good understanding of how to run the business behind the scenes. And that is when I had a light bulb moment. I don't know if you guys can tell, except I'm really excited to tell you about this because this is my baby that I've been working on for a long time and I've been keeping it a little bit secret. If you follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram right now, at Tom Stefani. We do a lot of giveaways, we do a lot of cool content over there, do not miss out. Or if you watch my second channel, you, you may know a little bit about what this is, but I'm going to give you the full unveiling right now. 
The business name is Small Screen. What I have built over the past year is an influencer and digital marketing agency called Small Screen. And we focus exclusively on influencer ad campaigns, influencer representation, and making sure that creators are making the amount of money that they deserve to be making. Think about it like this. You can go into your job and although it may be taboo, you can sort of figure out, okay, this guy over here is making that much, this guy over here is making that much per hour, so I should be making around that much per hour. But in YouTube, there's really no guideline of how much people should be charging for a brand deal or how much money you should be making off of appearance fees. It's all very hidden and there's no information to figure out how much people should be making. So that's where we come in. And I saw time and time again, influencers that should be charging $20,000 for a brand deal. And this is not an over-exaggeration. This is a real life example of someone that I know should have been charging $20,000 a brand deal when he was at the all time high for his views and was charging $2,000 a brand deal. This guy legitimately lost out on millions of dollars, if not millions, then at least a million dollars from not charging the proper amount for his brand deals. And seeing that, it pissed me off because he could have been set for life, but instead he was just making a comfortable living for now. So what we at Small Screen do is handle all of the business side of stuff for creators so that creators can focus on creating. If someone wants to do a sponsorship, we make sure they are getting paid the absolute full value of what their audience is worth. And if they wanna have an appearance fee, we make sure that they're getting paid the full value of what their time and what their knowledge and opinion is worth. And if they wanna do merch, we make sure that their merch is being made in the best way possible, shipped in the best way possible, and that the customer service is handled in the best way possible. By the way, if you've ever bought any YouTuber merch that has the same shipping address as my mystery boxes, it's because it's something that we produced and we shipped out to you guys. Creating a business behind the scenes of YouTube has really been so much fun. It's been a lot less stressful than I actually imagined it to be because my entire professional career, if you can call it that, making YouTube videos, is so out in the open and it's so upfront and everyone can see everything you're doing. And that can get a little bit stressful. It's just very judgmental and not that the hate comments or even positive comments affect me either way that much, but it still is a stress to have to project your life out into the world every single day. And this has actually been really interesting to create a business where, you know, me talking about it isn't a necessity or me making videos every single day isn't how we make money. We can do work behind the scenes and do a really good job. And as a result, that is why I've been uploading a little bit less lately is I have had to commit more time to work on this. And on top of small screen, I'm actually starting another corporation in New York to deal with something completely different that hopefully in a year from now, I'll be telling you about as well. I'm gonna leave our website in the description. The Instagram is in the bio of my Instagram if you guys would like to check that out. It's been a lot of fun being able to build a business and actually seeing success from it too, right? That's the thing. I mean, this is something I started a year ago essentially and it's making legit money now. Like it's making a full-time job. It's making a good full-time job income, like a very good income off of a lot of hard work over the course of one year. And that's not to brag to you guys, that's not why I wanna make any of these types of videos. It's to show you guys that whatever you think is possible, multiply that by five, because that's what's possible and do not set your goals too short. If you're not sure if you have what it takes to do something, put your all into it, go as hard as you can on it, and odds are it's gonna take a lot of time and you're gonna see a lot of roadblocks and speed bumps, and there's gonna be a lot of things that slow you down, but if you keep on trying, you're gonna be able to get to almost any goal you set your mind to. It feels like a weight off my shoulders having told you about this. I've been so secretive about this for like the past year, but finally it's out in the open. I got a new job. Actually, I made a new job for myself small screen. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a really different video, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I've talked about this before, but there's gonna be a lot more like lifestyle, real estate, maybe some more business. If you guys are interested in that, videos coming on the channel in the next few months as I try and just switch up the content that I'm making. So if you guys could do me a huge favor, obviously I'm not stupid. I realize that most people wanna watch sneaker stuff. And when I do videos like this, the views are going to be way lower, but at this point in my life, I honestly care about making what I feel really passionate about and bringing a positive message and positive energy 
to you guys every single day. I'm sure you can tell how much happier I feel in this video than I do in some of my past sneaker vlogs. That's because I genuinely do feel joy talking about stuff like this to you guys and sharing what I'm doing. Anyway, point being, if you see videos that are a little bit differently titled or about different stuff, give them a chance because I feel so much more inspired to put a lot of effort into those videos when it's stuff that I genuinely want to share with you guys rather than just me going to Foot Locker for the 150th time. That being said though guys, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely do appreciate every single one of you. You are my favorite people on earth. If you haven't already, as I said, make sure to go pick up the April Mystery Box. You can go subscribe to my second channel if you'd like with the link in the description. And you can also sign up to start investing on Weeble and get two free stocks when you deposit $100 which is a absolute no-brainer if you ask me with the link in the description as well. So that being said, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, peace.